And welcome back guys to our Town Hall 15 Let's Play. I have been neglectful of this account because everything is so expensive. So the CWL week is over and I've got a lot of loot sitting in my storages and a couple of armies that are ready to go out and, cra and grab some loot. So we're gonna do some big upgrades today, guys. Uh, things I'm very excited about. So hope you guys are excited too. I'm still using this uh, uh, Super Wizard Invisibility spell, the Lava Loon Dragon Rider Dragon Army. I don't even know what it's called, but it's amazing. If you know what it's called, let me know in the comments. I'm sure I know what it's called. I, I just can't remember it right now. Anyway, so let's go out, smack some bases, have some fun. I've got lots of loot, but not a lot, lot, like not too much. CWL is good for me though. It gives me back in the game and excited about the big, the big, I like the lower level clash a lot because the upgrades are cheaper and faster, but Town Hall 15, you're talking like half a month to upgrade anything it's it's crazy and then of course you get like 20 million loot per uh per upgrade as well so we're we're getting there it's difficult though so anyway i'll be right back guys once i find a base i want to smack in the meantime don't forget to check out my first facebook page english is hard uh my facebook page where i'm uploading content almost every single day also, don't forget to use code Klaus if you guys decide to buy something in the game. For those of you that have, it's been a huge blessing to me and my family, and you guys are awesome. I love each and every one of you. So I'll be right back, guys, once I find a base that is, uh, you know, that looks good. That looks juicy. That looks like something I want to I wanna put in my, my wallet. <laughs> Come to think of it, putting something juicy in your wallet doesn't sound all that appealing, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I can't help but when I attack this base. This is a dead base, and it has 667. It's not a triple seven, one of my favorites. Uh, but 600,000 plus gold and elixir is pretty good. Plus, it's got 7,700 dark elixir, which is good. That's a good amount, and I need dark elixir. I need lots of it. So, let's come in. Uh, I'm thinking um, if I put my super wizards right in the core, like right there, then uh, there's a very, very good chance we'll be able to gut all the air defenses and literally destroy this base from the inside out. So let's actually begin the process of um, setting this baby up. So the Lava Hound should keep the blimp alive. We will at least land in the Eagle Artillery compartment, but I would like it if we made it all the way to right there. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Invisibility spells, rage spells. I can't see where my super wizards are. Okay, I see them. They're hard to see because they're invisible, you know? <laughs> Oh man, but if we could actually, yeah, if we could actually take out the, uh, okay, we're not going for the air defenses. They are going north, unfortunately. I'm going to invisibilize that one, and I'm out of invisibility spells, but they actually stepped up and did a pretty good job. We got two of them down, which is amazing, and look at this. This guy is outside the range of all defenses. Good job, dude. We're not getting any chain damage or anything, but I mean, if you go to the left, then, oh, oh, come on, warden. No, okay, we were just outside the range, I thought. Of that warden but apparently not okay so let's go let's do this thing coming in from this far side um trying to avoid the uh the uh the sweepers of course but you know they're gonna get me anyway it's fine and let's go king and queen and royal champion okay so we got everybody kind of going in at the same time i'm gonna freeze this up and rage through i've got one more rage spell so i gotta be careful of when i use it but I don't think we have a bunch of threats on this base right now. I'm going to get both their defenses down with this one. And, of course, everybody's going in the wrong direction. This town hall is going to pop any moment now. So let's pop the warden's ability right now. Perfect. Poison over this royal champion. Pop this king's ability. He's going to kind of charge ahead a little bit. And I'm going to save the wall breakers just for the moment. Poison over this royal champion once again. And royal champion's ability should shoot us forward too. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to help out this dragon that's kind of lagging behind up there and drop the uh, the wall breakers for the heroes because that's the only place I'm going to need them. They're the only ground troops. So there you go, guys. A uh, three star. Not not surprising, I guess, but still pretty fun, right? And uh, we got quite a bit of loot that time for sure. I didn't even get a loot bonus because I'm not technically in a league. That's pretty bad. But now I'm in, okay, Master League 2. Not not too bad, not too bad. And I don't have another army. Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> let's train up another army and uh, I guess gem it because I've got lots of gems. I, I mean, I don't normally do that, but I don't use my gems. I use them for emergencies like that. I didn't want to wait, so I didn't wait. There you go. 
did it for you guys. All right, let's uh let's actually get the CC as well. And oh, I forgot that I can actually request for 50 troop capacity now. Yeah, okay. Well, it's cool. I'm going to go out and do another raid uh and then we're going to get going. So I am, like I said, very unfocused on this account, but it is a blast to play every single time. It's just like a daunting task to me, guys. Uh, let me know if I'm not the only person that thinks that about Tunnel 15 and 14. And 13 is not so bad, but 14 and 15 for sure are like huge and daunting. Let me know if I'm the only one in the world that thinks that. Uh, I, I Sometimes I find myself on my Town Hall 7 on Facebook way more often just because it's simpler it's easier to wrap my head around but I'll, I'll find a base guys i'll be back in a moment i can't pass up eight thousand dark elixir and i can't pass up almost eight hundred thousand gold the only thing this thing is missing is elixir uh but i think i've got enough for what i'm wanting to do today so let's see how it goes first things first as usual let's let's actually aim for the queen and the eagle so let's come in with that balloon that hound and that blimp very good. And I'm going to drop them literally like on that mortar. I think that'd be perfect. So there you go. Drop them. And uh, invisibility is going right now. They should start. Yeah, there we go. They start targeting that eagle. The eagle is gone. The enemy queen should be gone soon. There you go. That was a successful super wizarding right there. Very, very nice. And um, oh, giant bomb. Blast. Okay. They're, they're, they're done. <laughs> they're done. All right. So now... Uh, you guys get in here. We have upgrading air defense. I just realized so this is gonna be even easier than I expected Let's poison over this enemy royal champion here And let's actually go in uh, with the king to get through that wall and royal champion you go in and follow behind suit Okay, so let's uh, let's actually freeze the sweeper and I'm gonna rage going in Both of these here now the king makes his way through very very nicely and let's send the queen in now Royal Champion, pop your ability, and uh, I'm going to poison over the Yetis, because apparently there are defensive Yetis on their way. Let's pop this Warden's ability. We're hitting all kinds of trouble right now, so, you know, ability, I think, well-placed. Uh, the Town Hall bomb is going to destroy us, though, unfortunately, and then the poison effect, too, but we're good. Uh, let's drop the Wizards straight through there to help the, or, I'm sorry, the Wall Breakers to help the Wizards get through once they're done with their task over there. And I do have a bunch of other stuff I forgot to take out over here too. But okay, so we made it through the core. That's amazing. Let's pop the king's ability. That's gonna give us a really nice boost. And then the queen still has her ability too. So I think we got the three star again here, guys. Very, very nice. Not hard to do in Master League. I realized that I'm attacking low level bases, low level bases. Um, but I'm really in it for the loot. That's really all I care about. So that is what is up for sure. Um, and we actually have a dragon rider still up right now, which is very impressive and surprising. So that's awesome. There goes the last defense right there. And now it's all about that cleanup. The archers took care of it. And that is the last building. So bam, there you go. We got ourselves a three star. Yeah, I'm always excited. Doesn't matter. And there you go with that loot bonus that time. We didn't get a loot bonus last time. We got a loot bonus this time. That is going to be a 9,500 ish. My math might be a little off, but that was a lot of Dark Elixir. Plus, just got myself a, uh, a, a loot bonus. I'm going to go and collect that. And can I go in to the progress base? I cannot. I need to update my progress base. I think it's way behind anyway. So let's just look at this list here. If I use this barracks, I can unlock the Electro Titan, which I haven't used. I think that might be pretty awesome, but I've only got enough Elixir for one big upgrade. And I've got ideas for what I want to do with it. Things like the spell, th oh well, that's gold. Spell tower is gold. That's amazing. The monolith is dark elixir, though I don't have enough. Um, it, here, here's the benefit of the spell tower. It unlocks the poison spell spell tower, which I've heard is really OP. So that might be where my gold goes. I'm just saying. And then what about elixir? Do we have any like obvious decisions or obvious spots for elixir? I do actually. The the army camps. <laughs> The, the Grand Warden, the Workshop, the Pet House. There's so much to do, man. This is ridiculous. Okay, okay. Um, and I don't have enough Elixir for most of those things. Let's just stick with what we can afford today. And I'm thinking Barracks. I'm thinking unlock this Electro Titan and give it a try. You know, so let's go. 15 minute Elixir. Bam. There you go. 16 days. That's, a, that's more than half a month. 
A month is maximum 31 days. Half of that is 15 and a half. So that's, that's literally more than half a month to wait. Oh, that's terrible. It's terrible. It really discourages me, to be honest. Can you tell? Can you tell? Anyway, so I've got, I've got lots of gold stuff I can do. So let's actually do this spell tower. 16 million gold uh, to unlock the poison. It's going to be another 16-day upgrade. So there you go. Now I'm broke. And uh, let's see if I can do anything with Dark Elixir. I don't think I can, actually, because I've got my lab I still need to start doing stuff with. And I can't afford anything because I don't have enough Dark Elixir. I do have a Dark Elixir rune. But I don't have a way to spend it to make using the rune worth it. So I guess we're going to sit on this dark elixir and keep farming. <laughs> keep doing CWL. That's literally the best way to get any loot. So big day though, guys. Really exciting. This upgrade here, I'm almost the most excited about of anything I've ever done. This is going to be really good. I Let me know if I'm over-exaggerating. But for me, this is an exciting upgrade. The poison spell tower is amazing. And uh, we'll definitely be using it like a champ on defense and then offense the electro titan's coming it's coming and it's gonna be amazing so i hope you guys are excited uh thanks for tuning in and i will see you all next time